Sharon. It's really nice to meet you. Me too. How are you finding COP? I find it really wonderful and great. Yes? Yes. Have you been here for the full week or just a couple of days? Just a couple of things. Have you attended any interesting events or met any interesting people? Yes, I have. Tell me a bit um, about it. I've, I went to the um, conference where the president, was, the president of Tanzania, oh, Mama wow. Samia Suru Hassan, she was speaking, and the president of the African Development Bank who was also speaking. My boss. <laughs> ah, and I've met Mama Samia Suru Hassan on. Um, Yes. And shaked her hand. I've also met um, former president of US, Al Dr. Algo. Wow. And I've also um, I've also met. Um, so you've met a lot of high-profile yeah. people. That is very exciting for anybody, yeah. let alone a twelve-year-old, right? You're yes. twelve. Yes. Fantastic. So what brought you to COP? Tell me a bit about what your mission is here. My mission here is to. Um, to represent children and young youths um, in fact in raising our voices to stop climate change because climate change is now getting um, a very big impact around the world and it's getting really severe so I'm really trying my best to raise children and young youths um, to raise their voices so that climate change should be stopped by now by acting now yes. and not tomorrow incredible stuff and you mentioned the president of Tanzania you're from Tanzania, right? Yes, I am. Beautiful country, beautiful coast. And my understanding is that you are a multi ambassador um, in your country. Tell us a bit about the work you do for Tanzania and the ambassadorships that you carry. I I carry I carry so many positions. Number one is tourism. I'm, I'm an ambassador for tourism in the African Tourism Board and an ambassador for Tanzanite the rarest gemstone and an ambassador for tourism in Tanzania. Are you the youngest ambassador there? Yes, yes. Uh, what age did you become an ambassador? When I was 10. Oh my goodness, that's so impressive. Thank you. And I also heard that you, uh, you're a founder of a foundation. Yes, Sharon Eagle Foundation. Yes. And my foundation focuses on three main themes, yes. climate action, environmental justice, and sustainable tourism. And my foundation has a two million tree planting project, mm -hmm. and I've already planted over 38,500 oh trees. Oh my goodness, you're making yes. such a big difference. Now, Thank is that all in one part of Tanzania or spread across? It's spread across the world. Oh my in goodness. In America, China, Nigeria, Uganda, Burundi, Rwanda, Kenya, South Africa, and Tanzania. How big is your team? It's really big. Um, but I don't consider it as like something like Apple or Chanel. Yeah. No. Um, <laughs> Maybe one day like, it will be. I'm yeah. Sure it will be. We're, we're in the middle. Yeah. Yes. And I also heard that you also appoint people to help you with your work. I do. How do you go about that? And how can people reach out to you if they want to support your cause? Um, they could contact my dad, and th he's also my executive director and manager. So and and also my bo my bodyguard. So oh, he goes nice. everywhere around. I wish I had a bodyguard. I'm so jealous. And I also heard that you're an author. Can you tell yes, us I about am. the book you've written or you're writing at the moment? Um, I'm writing about Tantanite, and the book I've written is called The Big Five. Mm -hmm. The Big Five is a book about the lion, the leopard, elephant, buffalo, and rhino. And my favorite animal in the Big Five is the elephant because it's genius, yeah. intelligent, and it's beautiful. Mine is the lion. Ah. <laughs> but you have to send us a copy of that book. Sure. It sounds amazing. It is. Well, thank you for um, coming to talk to us about the amazing work that you're doing in Tanzania. You're, you're such an inspirational young person and we're so excited to see what the future holds for you. Thank you.